So your child has been diagnosed with scoliosis and that may terrify you. We've already heard what scoliosis is and how it behaves. The aim of the treatment really is to give a stable and non-deformed spine for it to last a lifetime. And for that, there is a continuum of the treatment, which depends on how bad the curve is, how much is going to progress and what is the type of the curve. And in the larger picture, there are three types of treatment. One of them is as simple as observation. The second is active conservative treatment, which are braces and exercises. And finally, at the end, there is surgery. So observation also is a very, very important part of the treatment because it is active observation. Your child will be called to the clinic at periodic intervals, depending on the level of growth for a clinical examination where the doctor will look at your back and the way it is affected by the curve. And sometimes we may do x-rays and these are very specialized x-rays which are used to compare with previous ones and to track the growth because tracking the growth of the curve is what truly defines the treatment. We would also look to see whether any of the nerves are getting involved and that would mean a neurological observation. So you need to follow the schedule which your doctor gives you. Sometimes with serial x-rays and examination, the curve increases and this may increase even more when the child is growing rapidly. At this point, we have to change our treatment plan and the treatment plans can be various. For a particular level of curve, there may be the application of a brace or a, or a jacket. And in some cases, we may have to actually submit the child to surgery. Bracing is a highly scientific treatment where an external brace or jacket is used to hold the curve in place. These jackets have to be custom designed and custom fit for each child. And if this treatment is given to you, it will be done in conjunction with an expert orthosis who will make the brace, fit the brace, and this brace has to be worn for a particular number of hours. In this treatment as well, the role of observation is there and we call the patient serially for x-rays and examinations to see if the brace treatment is working. Most of the scoliosis or curves have what we call a natural history, which means there is a rate of progression which is programmed into them based on the basic pathology or the problem which has caused it. Exercises are very, very important to maintain the flexibility of the curve, to maintain the flexibility of the spine and to strengthen the muscles so as to provide overall balance. But exercises itself cannot radically change the direction in which the curve goes. Scoliosis has been studied scientifically across the world and there are many cases in the last 50 years. Other than bracing and surgery, there is really nothing which can prevent these curves from getting worse or treating. Hence, paramedical or paraclinical treatments do not work. You may do them to keep you happy, but finally it is bracing or surgery which treats these curves. The brace does help to some extent to control the curve, but sometimes because of the growth ability of the curve and the patient, the brace doesn't work. And if the curve exceeds to a particular point or a particular degree, then we have to go to the next plan. And the next plan would be surgical treatment because surgery is the only thing which could then correct and stabilize that curve. The timing of surgery in scoliosis is very technical and precise and that decision will be made by your treating surgeon. A lot depends on how much the curve is, how rapidly it is increasing and how much of growth is left in the child. Hence, if the child is very immature and the curve is progressing rapidly, we may have to do early surgery. But if the curve is progressing slowly, we may still elect to observe till the child grows taller and do the surgery. So these decisions have to be tailored individually in a given case.
surgery is basically done to prevent the spinal curvature from increasing so that it causes a problem to the child especially in the long run and in his adult age with modern technology and modern surgical techniques we are able able to correct these curves so as to balance the spine and give a very good shape to the spine with the surgery we do put in corrective rods and devices to the spine which attach to the spine and fuse the spine together in the corrected position the surgery is basically what we call as a correction instrumentation and fusion of the spine what this means is that in your curved spine we put in particular implants such as screws hooks and wires which are connected to a rod and the rod will then correct your spine and get it back to a shape which is as good as possible in your circumstance and we then get that spine to fuse together with bone graft it's a fairly major surgery but it's a fairly common surgery and for surgeons specialized in this technique people have years of experience in treating these most of the surgeries go very very well without complications and once the surgeries are successful these people have a long and happy life without any long term implications or problems the most important thing is that their functional life is almost completely normal at the end of these surgeries